Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We've gotten connected here with Shuckle, who... Is his name Joe, too? Is his real name Joe, as well? That would actually be pretty cool. Alright, so let's see. He brings Hydragon, Shaq, Steelix, Shaq, Landorus T, Shaq, Milotic, Shaq, Galarian, Sloking, Shaq, and Tornadius, Therian, Shaq. Oop. Alright. Alright, so we know his team. I'm going to lead Victini, thinking that he's going to lead Steelix. And we'll see what happens here. I think he'd want to set up rocks. Because i got four mods that are weak to rocks. So I could have won Electivire and done uh, Taunt. We'll see. Steal it. I knew it. So he's got a sturdy Steelix here. Or protect. Hmm. I mean, whatever comes in is not going to like this. My Lodic. We're switching to Lapras here. Oh, hey, Juno, when did you come in here? Toxic. Should have went to Gengar. Now, what does he do with this Milotic? He's got four Mons that are weak to Lapras. I'm going to click Freeze Dry. He withdraws into Slow King. That appears to be a salt vest. I'm going to go in the arrow here. Predict a future sight. If you go scald, good predict. Hydro pump. I'm gonna survive. I'm 
I'm willing to bet on Ice Fang here and Sack Arrow. Prying a Lando. Milotic. Rocky Helmet. Interesting. Okay. Let's go into Vire here. Do I want to go Tondongo Earthquake here? I'm going to taunt. Withdraws. See how much Earthquake does. About 40%. And it's leftovers. Having that air balloon was great tech. Now the question is, does he switch? I'm going to say he doesn't. Into could have gone for it. Could have gone for Volt Switch. So I'm going to go for Ice Punch here. Steelix comes out. All right, bring it to And he goes for Earthquake, which makes sense. Bring in Incineroar here. Mm 
we'll go for a knockoff. Probably brings in Milo. Or Land okay, Landorus. Leftovers as well. Pretty sure it could knock me out. And it's probably a scarf too. Let me go into Victini here. Maybe get lucky with a U-turn. I doubt it. I'd probably get an EQ here. Yep, EQ. Might as well just go for it. We're probably going to High Dragon here. Or oh, he stays in. Okay. Get the special defense drop. And he goes for EQ. This is... Uh, unfortunately, we couldn't get the Cursed Body to activate. Because then we could have brought in Ensign for free. Go for bulk up here. Goes for U turn. It's a torn. Go for Blaze Kick. Let's go for Knock. Predicting a U-turn. I'm probably going to like Milo or something. U-turn.
I mean, neutral. Doesn't matter. Alright, so now what does he bring in? Does he bring in High Dragon? My load it. I'll U turn here. It's faster. I'll go for freeze draw. He'll go on to slow king. Why don't I forget about regenerator? Nasty plot. Alright, he's really in the end game here. So like my only hope is uh is a freeze. We'll go with one more freeze dry. We're going to... We're going to lose Lapras here. And then he's going to switch out to Slow King. Which only makes sense. So we'll knock off. Cuss that berry. Okay. Did not see the Custap Berry coming. But that was actually a really good tech. Alright. So unfortunately, the NCP run ends with a 5-0 loss to Shuckle. We finish 4th place in the NCP. But hey, it's better than I thought, guys. And I think any of you guys can agree with me. It is way better than I thought. Whew. Uh, I mean, look, I'm, I'm just grateful to even have been a part of this tournament, guys. I'm grateful to Kurt. I'm grateful to Olivia. I'm grateful to Owen. Uh, 
to John Jr., to Snom, to Sally, Lucas. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm grateful to everyone, man. I'm just grateful to everyone. Man, I, I got a chance to be in a tournament that I really didn't think I was going to be a part of, y'all. And to make it a fourth place? <laughs> That's pretty damn impressive for someone like me, guys. I'll, I'll be honest with you. Uh, we're going to try to get connected with Shuckle, do like a quick post-match, and that'll be the end of the NCP, guys. So thank you for watching. I will see you guys whenever for the next installment. Peace out. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We are back with the final NCP SummerSlam 2021 post-game press conference as we normally do on the channel. Uh, well, you guys saw it. It was fun for one side. It was <laughs> full of you know, predictions, and also, let's be, if we're going to be honest here, my guest at this time, he needs no introduction, but I'll give him one. He won his first five consecutive draft leagues he ever participated in, in Wi-Fi. He is a showdown legend, and he is feared and respected in the entire draft league community simply because of that, and he just kicked our ass. Welcome aboard, Shuckle King. How you doing? <laughs> I mean, I'm doing a little bit better after that win. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, because I Get mean, you know, place money. Yeah, There's you know, money on this, right? Do we win yeah, I, I think top four. Um, so we both get it. There we go. Yes, I mean, we, it was just a matter of you know who who gets a little more. But hey, mo hey, money, money's money. Can I, can I get that check? <laughs> I don't yeah, think I'm sending checks. Eh, I, 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 we'll, we'll, I'll, we'll, I'll, if, well, if anything, we can do what I what I said before we went live on this. Like, uh, I had been on, you know, a little bit of a losing streak and just overall in draft. Uh, but I've attested it to the luck I had in the first three rounds. It's just that episode of Family Guy where uh, Brian lost a bet to Stewie and Kurt and the other admins are like, and they're like, Joe, it's the end of the month and I'm calling in your tab. You owe us so much money for how much luck you cost us with the Cinderella run. And I don't got the money. So, you know, there's baseball bats. There's a glass. There's a, uh, a glass. Um, I want to say there's everything but the flamethrower. <laughs> but but, but, but there's, a, there's, a good amount, there's a good amount of stuff that they're coming at me. I mean, because e even Kurt said it. Last week, that you know, I got like I beat John, uh, but you know you can attest that to he's coming back after a little bit of uh, of a spell. Uh, beat Sally in a YCO preview and say, okay, we got we, we you know we're having fun. The Cinderella thing is nice, but now I gotta call him the mercenary. He calls in Matt. I beat the mercenary, and he and he's just like, God damn it! The only way to do things right is to do this myself. <laughs> and lo and behold, I mean, he won the whole damn thing. Yeah, he did it. He definitely did it. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's just like, I mean, can we, can we, uh, I, I, I'll just throw it out here because, you know, just for a little bit of fun speculation because we can. Should we, uh, have an investigation into tampering here? You know, maybe, maybe a little, uh, uh un under the scenes kind of thing, you know, because, you know. I mean, I wasn't going to say it. But I, I, I have been uh, collecting some evidence, so if Ooh. you want to be the one that that uh, well, like, well gives we... the accusation, <laughs> then I'll, I'll 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 back you up. But I'm not well, gonna be the hitman. Yeah, hey, I'll, I'll, I'll be fine be with first I'll, command. I'll, I'll, I'll the bullet. I'll I'll be fine with that. But I mean, even though Liv already uh, kind of, like we kind of had a little joke there as well before earlier because oh, Liv is gonna take the hit. Ooh, I'll take well, that too. Well, no, she she posted about, like, the whole, you know, he won the thing. What is he going to do? And his team is literally what he's supposed to do, and he didn't get the goddamn joke. <laughs> he, he didn't say, I'm going to Disney World. Because he's literally the, he's the Walt Disney Landerus. He didn't yeah, even exactly. do it. He didn't do it. <laughs> like, yeah, right, right there. The nerve. Yeah, the nerve. right right there, I, I made the joke myself. I was like, that should be automatic disqualification. Lucas... You are automatically the winner by that. It is a forfeit uh, from from Kurt. Yeah, I'm sure Lucas wants to go to Disney World. 
Yeah, I mean, why not? I mean, he, if I'm a cook, I, th- I think he's in the UK, if I'm not mistaken, right? Yeah, they can go to uh, Paris. There's like a Disney World in Paris, right? Maybe I, I wouldn't know. I've never been to I've never been to Europe, but it's on the bucket list. Well, I mean, I haven't been to Europe, but I know like I know that Paris has a Disney World. I'm going to Paris in uh, in April, though. That's my first time in Europe, so I'm pretty excited. Oh, that should be that should be pretty cool. Uh, yeah. I, I got I gotta say I, I had a feeling that Steelix was going to be like your lead by. I, I felt like it was going to be rocks. I did not like see Protect coming at all. Mm-hmm. I had. Well, I had rocks and landed the whole time. I was debating if I had a uh, toxic or roar. I actually had a toxic on Slow King for the longest time, and then realized that a Slow King did not get toxic. So, yeah, which that, is, which is unfortunate that you know you would think yeah. that you think that a the poison, poison type. type version of Slow King could get it, but yet the can't exactly. Ju- like that. That's just absolutely asinine. On yeah, it's uh, crazy. So. but I mean, it's like. Th- that, w- that was my thought. I had a feeling that Snooze was going to be the lead, and then, uh, luckily, I got that prediction with uh, with Electivire, because I-, I had a feeling like Earthquake was going to come, and I was like, I had the expert belt on it, but I was like, you know, let, let me just bring Air Balloon this week. Let, let-, let me see how that could work in it. And it technically would have worked for Lando, too. Uh, mm-hmm. but-, but I was like, damn it, what I should have done was when Tornado, when you switch it out, I was like, do I go with Volt Switch here? Maybe bait that, but I don't think Volt Switch would have uh, KO'd anyway. And then one U turn yeah. later, and all the damage is sent right back. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, I was like, I mean, really, your team was was tough to crack. Uh, I'll say this. I mean, hell, mm-hmm. I didn't even see Scarf High Dragon, which uh, oh yeah, what, that was which like I, the instant number one thing I wanted to put on the team because it looked really good. The only issue there was like. Scarf Gengar or Scarf Victini with Dazzling Gleam, uh, which you did have the, the Scarf Gengar, so that was a good bring. I, I had Scarf on both Victini and um, and Gengar. Oh, okay. I was just like, because yeah. I, I just figured, let, let, let me max, you know, like almost like a lock in a sense. But I was like, uh, I mean, it, it's the third place game. We can go big or we can go home on on all this. And I was like, uh, I, I felt like with high, I I wanted to bring Crest. I'll be honest. Cress was like a last-minute yeah. switch for Lapras. Yeah, I like, would have hated it if you brought, if you brought it. I honestly, what? you could have brought any of your eight months, and I thought they would have been okay to some regard. But I thought Cresselia was probably the least like unlikely. Uh, but it would have just been super annoying if you did bring it. Yeah, because I was like, I, I switched Cresselia for Lapras at the end, like like right before, because I was like, mm-hmm. well, let me because let, I did one last look at your team. And I was like, it's good oh, yeah. against High Dragon, it's super effective against Milotic, and it resists Milotic. It's mm-hmm. really good against Landorus, it's good against Tornadus, and it's good against Steelix. The only one that I was neutral to is Sloking, even though I could have maybe gotten lucky with a with a Hydro Pump here or there. But also mm-hmm. Slack Off is definitely a prop. The cuss that Barry threw me off right at the end there. I did not <laughs> see that. <laughs> oh, and and, I, and I've used the cuss that berry once or twice before because it was like nobody sees that berry coming. Well, nobody does. So, so I thought I won the game and I wasn't going to be able to show off the cuss that berry. I didn't realize your Incineroar was protective pads. So I was like, oh wait, he has two months of life. How did that happen? Did I forget that something died? And I realized what uh when he went for U turn on the uh, the melodic, uh, I thought you just died. Uh, to the Rocky Helmet, so I didn't even notice that it was still alive. I was being pretty unobservant in this game, like with the Electivire Earthquake on it. That was that wasn't my greatest showing, but uh, yeah, yeah. Because no. I, I, I I felt like maybe what you would have done in that turn was maybe like after you saw that it was Air Balloon, you would have kept it in, gone for Heavy Slam. Yeah, and I would have done then, that and, and then you would have switched, so that way. You know, I would have probably gone for like you know the the kill switch with earthquake, and then you could have, uh, you know, just had like a player. yeah had, had had like different different play and whatnot. But like I mean, the custom berry, yeah. I, I, I've used it once before because I, I oh, used it's one it. One of my at, favorite items. It's one it, of my favorite items. Yeah, because it gives the the priority bracket uh, when it's when it's exactly. less health. Because I, I did that with an agron a while back. I forget. Who it was against, 
but I remember vividly doing that so I could, um, so I could, you know, just have like a free attack on something. Uh, I, I forget who it, I forget who it was or what we did with it. Yeah, it's I, good with Agron because it, especially if you have sturdy with it, you can sturdy like stealth rocks like early game and then get a cut that berry like pretty strong hit off. So that seems like a pretty good strategy. Oh wait, that that's what I did. I, I now I remember what I did. I um I had Rockhead with Steel Beam to negate oh, the wow. to to negate the recoil. And I did, and I did that move. I survived an earthquake somehow, <laughs> and then the cuss that berry came, and I was able to knock something out with that. N now I remember. Ooh, what I that's awesome. That sounds really cool. Yeah, because I didn't even that. know steel beam and rocket worked like that. To be honest, I I mean I I, 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 I think to, I might have to draft that. I th I think it does, or or if I or if it didn't, maybe maybe it was a maybe it was a glitch that I that I might no, have accidentally. I mean, it, 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 pre it, it prevents it recoil sense. damage. It prevents yeah, recoil exactly. damage. I know that. So, but I know it does on head smash and double edge. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, uh, I guess me too. I didn't even think about that. Uh, let me see. Oh man, I'm gonna have to draft this man. <laughs> oh, I, th I think I got. A, I, I think I got a glitch. Cause no, it can't be a glitch, right? Well, what does Bulbapedia say? It doesn't have that move. <laughs> it does. Uh oh. It does it for double edge, flare blitz, head smash, submission, takedown, wood hammer, and five moves that aren't learned by anybody with uh, Rockhead. Brave Bird, Head Charge, Light of Ruin, Volt Tackle, and Wild Charge. So may maybe I got maybe I got lucky with that? Maybe. That's what I'm I'm trying to look that up too. I don't even see. Yeah, because that, that that's definitely Interesting. I, don't, think, I mean, if it was if it was a if it was Wi-Fi, then I think you're fine. If it was Showdown, then it could have been a glitch. I, I forget exactly where. I, I think I might have been on on Wi-Fi because I, I I just can't I just can't remember what I what I did with it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but, but but I know like you know I, I mean Steel Beam is just a, a hell of a powerful move even with the the fifty like percent recoil special attack or whatever Agron has. Oh, it's, it's not asinine. High. It's it's yeah. asinine. It's special attack. Yeah, sixty. Okay. Rock and thought. reckless do not affect. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I, I must have got I must have gotten a glitch then because it says steel beam doesn't affect it. Mm hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Which, which which probably means that that might be something that they think about in Gen Nine. Because I mean, it's technically yeah. a it's technically a recoil move. I don't know if it'll. Change for I don't, think it's, I don't think it is. It's not really a recoil move. It's it's like like mind blown. Like Blacephalon's move is also not considered recoil. It just does fifty percent of your health when you use the move. It's it's different in recoil because it gives a specific a baseline amount of damage to yourself, um, which is different in recoil because recoil is usually based on um, the percentage of damage that you do to your opponent. Yeah, because I. Uh, I I I think that maybe I just got I, I found like some weird or, or maybe it was like a one 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 time thing or something like that. Cause, I mean, the, the, those happen. I mean, we've been seeing it in Unite uh, for a while oh. now. Like like everybody's getting like these weird. Like I I, I saw. You know, Drive one... was complaining about stuff with uh, uh, some move with Crystal and Wigglytuff. There was like an issue there. I I, I know Wigglytuff has like been like super OP right now recently, and then like. Uh, yeah. There was like the thing with Gengar with Hex and everything. Um, I, I I don't. I mean, what what really just gets me and I, and I I posted on Twitter and whatnot. I mean, even aside from his uh, WB Unite thing or whatever, which you know, props to whoever That's... gets wh whoever gets into that. Props to them because it's a it's a hell of an opportunity. I won't sugarcoat that. But I yeah. was pl I was playing a rand like just a standard match, and 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 I still hate this. My team surrendered. Everybody surrendered except for me. And we were winning. <laughs> we were but winning. The other team got those? No. Th th that's the thing. They surrendered with five minutes left in the game. Oh, wow. That's While weird. we were winning. I was just like... I, I, I couldn't even believe it. I was pissed. Because, I mean, it's like... Yeah. like really, I just hate the, the whole concept of surrendering a like even even if 
you know, I was in a top uh, a, a poison battle at the end and whatnot. Like, I know that there was that with Matt and Shadow when I was Shadow canceled and everything, and like him and I, we had our our little person. They were like, you know, but it's just like like me personally, I, I just can't. Like, even if the battle is over, like, I would just, I, I just see it through. Let the Mon go down, because we already have the problem with the timer in, in itself, and that just kind of adds on to it, if you know what I mean. Yeah, there's, like, so, like, when I did more competitive smog on play, the, like, a benefit of, I mean, even, in, 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 I guess, in draft league, too, to an extent, like, if there there is a benefit of just forfeiting early, like, if you know you're 100% going to lose, there's, like no point in revealing any information to your opponent for any like potential future matchups and such. So I kind of see that in regard, but, but, but that Unite situation, that's just ridiculous. That's like tough. Yeah, it's just like, th- the, the things happen, man. I mean, you, you, mm-hmm. you, can't, get, you can't get too uh, uh, held, held up on it and whatnot. I mean, it's like, uh, you, you know, you just live and you learn and whatnot. I mean, I, I learned so much from from this tournament. Like I learned that you know I I'm respected well enough to be that I was you know to get selected for the tournament, which was you know just itself a, a huge opportunity. What up? And I'll be honest, dude. I really thought that I was going to lose in the first round. I really did, and just somehow you know, survived. You know, matched up with a hard opponent too. Yeah, definitely and, one of the better players, if not, yeah, like a top player in his twenty. Yeah, I mean, everybody said that you were probably like the person in the tournament because of all, all the yeah. hype and the hoopla behind mm-hmm. you. Wanna, but if you also look at it uh, in the draft thing, where like they did like a random thing, I was like, I was thirty second. Like I was the worst team if we wanted to go by that. So <laughs> wait, who did that? <laughs> who uh, did that? I I I, for, I, for, I know I saw it. I know Ultra uh, did something. I I think it was. Uh, I don't know out. who. I don't know who else did like an overall ranking. I know. I think I know Ultra probably ranked my team number one. Which. I'll yeah, it was, it was like. Uh, I, I know there was like a. Oh, here it is. Randomized seating. You were. Uh, you were uh, fifth. Seating. Yeah. Uh, you were fifth, and I was thirty second, and that was done by uh, Commissioner Mimikins, which is D Ray. Yeah. So. Yeah, I think that was just setting up the bracket and such. Yeah, you know, I don't just think it was like a power ranking of who was better and worse or all that. Yeah, it was just you know, it would have been like honestly, if I would have won, like that would have been a real fun thing to do. It's like, um, where I could have you know just had like you know a lot a lot of fun. With that, you know, been like, hey, the thirty second team, the the worst team in current in like randomized seating won your tournament, so you know, nuts <laughs> to that. But but but, but again, making it to fourth place, that's good enough for me, especially against yeah. top top tier talent. Like, uh, I finally got that game against Matt that I've been hoping for. I got to battle mm-hmm. Kurt. I got to battle you. Like, I, I've I've had. A blast! I'm hoping for for more of this, dude. I'm hoping for more. Oh yeah, no, this is it's really the first time that they've had this type of tournament, like in the Wi-Fi scene. At least as far as I remember, I don't even think like a Gen Six or Seven they did anything like this. And it was, I mean, I feel like this was definitely a huge success. And I, I, can, I agree. Can do more in the future. It's, I, it's definitely great. I actually threw it out there to Kurt that maybe. For the first year, like we do, like they'll do a, a winter one, a spring one, and a summer one, and then whoever, oh, well, actually, no, not not a summer one. They've already done a summer one, so Kurt's automatically locked into this one. But they do a fall one, a winter one, and a spring one, and then right before next year's SummerSlam, if they do that, they do a seasonal bracket. So it's like you know which season is the best. Was it spring, mm-hmm. summer, fall, or winter? Oh, okay. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. It definitely sounds yeah, like it, it, but but you know that that that's now in the minds of the commissioners and the admins and all that. But again, exactly. like it was a hell of a game, and like like I do with everybody, 
Uh, the main thing that I like to do is I like to help out people. I like to, you know, plug their channels and whatnot. So, if you guys see, ladies and gentlemen, this is Shuckles' page. He's had, uh, you know, he's got a bunch of leagues right now. He's got EWT, the Eon World Tour. He's got, uh, I'm assuming, TBL stands for The Battle League. I'm, I'm just assuming. Uh, that's a great question. Well, that is actually uh, on hiatus slash is canceled, uh, which is kind of unfortunate. But uh, Kelly, Kelly, who was running it, is getting – well, he was, I was at his wedding last weekend. Uh, so he's on his honeymoon right now, and it was just kind of chaos. So unfortunately, that is not going on right now. But, yeah, uh, over the span of the next three, four weeks, I have about – 10 to 12 videos getting ready to post between this NCP 20, which I haven't posted yet. Uh, one yeah, you, doing this interview. Yeah, you you only got a uh, one that I see so far because it, like it's you know the the generic, um, like like I guess some, like the six most recent videos that it's showing right now. But it's got the quarterfinals one that, uh, which is just well actually no that's a uh, that's an old one that's from. Uh, quarterfinals in the actual playoffs of NCP, where you, I, ironically yeah, enough, battle battle uh, yeah, yeah, and that was an unfortunate game. And then, if you guys want, because as we can also see it just now, uh, he is a Sixers fan. So, <laughs> se- is that a so, good or bad thing? I. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. Uh, I'm, oh, I'm, I'm not a ba- I'm not I'm not a basketball yeah. guy. I'm I'm not I'm not a basketball guy, but uh, football. football Atlanta Falcons, as you can tell from the the tower yeah. flames and whatnot. Well, I mean, uh, Eagles, obviously for me. I'm going to the uh, uh, the game on the 19th. Their uh, preseason game against the Patriots. So I'm ooh, pretty excited should, for that. Well, that should be fun. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna be a fun time. Yeah, so if you guys want it, you see it here. Shuckles got 205 subscribers. Let's try to get him to 250, maybe even three bills. All right, I mean, guys, he's he's made, he's won five. He won his first five leagues. Like, give him the love, y'all. I <laughs> uh, appreciate it, and same to you. Definitely, and, definitely go check out Joe's channel. It, it, it's great stuff, and he's a great guy. So, I I appreciate All that. To together, exactly. Hey, that's my thing, dude. Gotta grow organically. Thank you guys so much for joining us for this NCP run. Thank you to the NCP admins and commissioners. We all are very grateful for this opportunity, and we will see you guys next time. Congratulations. You made it all the way to the end of this video. I thank you very much for your support on this current video. If you want to interact with me more, check out my socials right here. That's my Twitch. That's my YouTube. That's my Twitter. You can comment on any one of them and tell me how good I was, how bad I was, anything you want. Goodbye.